Good evening, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and I also read a page from a book of my choice. So this video is going to be a bit of a reaction video to a video I saw on TikTok recently about modern books that I think will be classics. Uh, there was this person called Read by Emma who made this video. I'm going to take a look at how many of these I've read and I will be sharing my opinion about them and let you know whether I agree or not. So yes, yeah, stay tuned and let me know what you think of this in the comment section as well. Okay, so first off we have The Secret History by Donna Tart. Personally, I haven't read this. But I've heard a lot of great things about it. It's not my cup of tea, however. And um, yeah, I'm not sure whether it will be regarded a classic just because many people think it is well written. Unfortunately, there is the stigma that is that if a book is philosophical or thought provoking in a, pre in a pretentious way, then it should be regarded a classic. But I don't know. Let me know if you've read it. The Book Thief, definitely one of the best books about war which i've read and um yeah it is narrated from a unique perspective and i think you should check it out as well despite how huge it is relatively next we have never let me go i think this might constitute a classic in the coming years as well uh, personally i already consider it to, consider it to be one of the the classics because it has such a great message about um our existence basically and how much we are worth technically so yeah very thought-provoking and um, it's not pretentious at all it only picks up after about page 70 or 80 i would say so it takes a, quite some time to pick up but then you won't be able to to let go of it basically next we have the handmaid's tale completely agree with this one i think that it definitely deserves to be considered a classic Beloved by Toni Morrison, not my cup of tea. Uh, I read a couple of reviews of this and saw some spark notes. I uh, wouldn't say that it deserves to be a classic. I don't really care for the writing. And yeah, this is the pretentious stuff I was talking about. Kafka on the Shore, very beautifully written. Quite confusing in certain parts. However, it will let you feel as though you don't know anything about anything, yet you'll still love the way it is written and translated and you will fall in love with the characters as well. Next, we have a Life of Pi. I think it is pretty beautiful as well. Wouldn't go as far as to call it a classic, probably, even though it is a very great book with a fantastic message. Though, yeah, wouldn't go as far as to call it a classic. Next, we have Atonement. I completely hated this one. Um, the first time I read it, and I blamed Ian McEwan for writing something so horrid, but then it came to me that Ian McEwan is an extremely talented writer for writing such a horrible character that is Bryony, and for writing such an unreliable narrator, I think um, he is brilliant, and this should probably be considered a classic, even though I had to study this for my exams, so I might not be completely um, in, awe, in awe of this book as I should be. Next, we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower, one of my favorite books of all time. Fully recommend. Definitely deserves to be a classic. Uh, Stephen Chbosky, brilliant author. Highly recommend. Uh, Joan Didion, haven't read this one. Don't know what it's about. Next, The Kite Runner. I've read some of Khaled Hosseini's work, and he is a very evocative writer. I think he does deserve to be... Um, one of the classic writers, especially the Kite Runner thing. The Road, beautiful book, had to read this for an exam, and I was not disappointed. This one my father knows a lot about, anything by Elena Ferrante, you can ask him for information. I haven't read it myself, but from what I've heard, it is an extremely worthwhile read, and you should definitely check this out, I know I will. Um, next, and I think finally, we have... Um, on Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. That one is a completely horrible book. Absolutely despise that book. I hate it to this day with a passion. A friend of mine actually um, gave me that to read. She thought I would enjoy it, but she was very um, incorrect about that. And I have yet to give her the book. So if you're watching this, send me a message and we can find a date where I can return the book. But yeah, it was a horrible book. 
definitely should not be um, regarded as a classic. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Let me know whether you'd like to see more of this sort of video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, check out the rest of my content, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.